So in this video, I just wanted to do a quick review of Lemlist and my experience of using it for me and my clients in the past few months. Um, and basically, I think Lemlist has a lot of great features, but it also, if you're just using it for cold email, I would be, um, there are better tools out there, but there are a couple tools I want to talk to, to you about, which a couple features I want to talk to you about, which are really, really interesting and actually it could save you a lot of time. So definitely check out the video I have on um, cold email tactics and strategies and how to do that. I'll put it in the link. But basically, as part of that, I talk about how to personalize your emails and how important it is to personalize your emails to get really good response rates and all that kind of stuff. But with Lemlist, they have a couple features which can actually streamline that if you, you know, follow this. So one, one way I've used, so the two features that Lemlist has nowadays, which is quite expensive, it's on the sales engagement one. So if you're looking just for pure cold email, you know, outreach, I'd use another platform such as ConvertKit or woodpecker.co and I'll put, you know, the links down. But um, if you're looking for these other features, so the two features that I would use Lemlist for, which is really interesting, it's quite a scalable way to send a lot of personalized emails is by, is the dynamic landing page feature and also the Omni channel. So they've now launched it as part of their beta program, but they now launched the Omni channel stuff. So that basically means you're more than one channel. So you're using LinkedIn and email, um, cold email. So for example, you can create sequences. So um, for example, you can have, so you link, link your LinkedIn to this and therefore it's kind of like a LinkedIn automation with cold email mixed together and you can create those sequences. So for example, you can create, and I'm gonna make a video around different sequences you can create. But for example, one of the sequences I did create was, um, so first I'll do a LinkedIn profile view and then I'll wait a day. Then I'll do a LinkedIn invite, so a connection request on LinkedIn and then at the same time send the email. So this worked quite well, um, but basically the reason why that might work is they'll, when you do the LinkedIn profile view, it sends a notification to the, the person, the, to the prospect via on LinkedIn, but also maybe even in email. So they've kind of like gone, oh, who's this? And they might even check your profile out. Then two days later, you've got a connection request plus an email. You're making yourself look like a real human. And this is one of the big battles we have with cold email automation. We're trying to make it as personalized, mix personalization of automation as much as possible. You can't just go full stream automation and spam thousands of people, but you want to use automation to your advantage and add personalization elements to it. And so, yeah, we can do this by making it feel more like a human doing. We do the connection, we do a profile view, send some notification, then a connection request with an email. Then a couple of days later, we do another profile view if they haven't answered with another email at the same time. And so it looks like we've gone on their profile, we'll check them out. Oh, what are they doing? And email comes out as well. So we're trying to make that look really personalized and Therefore, you can do a little bit less personalization and you can even make the excuse or the first line and more like, so yeah, I'm checking out you on LinkedIn, which is, you know, the oldest one in the book. But with this kind of omni-channel thing going on, it works more and you get start getting really good reply rates. So that's really, really great. So this feature of Lemlist is great, really, really cool. And if you want to do that, you do have to sign up for the $99 one which is fine. The second one is the, the dynamic pages one. So again, if you don't want to do first liners and spend three to four minutes per email customizing the first liner, which I would recommend, and I've got examples of how to do that in the other video, which I'll link to. Um, but basically, Lemnist can scale that personalization through the dynamics elements it creates. So here's a concept I created, which you can copy if you want. But basically I did, you know, everyone's in lockdown or was in lockdown coming out of lockdown now, but I did a Zoom meeting concept. So basically I took a picture of me on Zoom and someone, my colleague on Zoom with a dynamic background. And what Lemnist does here with this dynamic background, it actually goes to the URL. So if it's like fill at superlumen.co, which is mine, it'll go to superlumen.co and take a screenshot of my a home page and it'll embed it in the background here and if you have a long list of prospects it'll do that every time automatically as it goes through so if you're sending 50 emails a day then it'll just do that 50 but you can scale this really easily because there's no three to four minutes personalizing each email it just 
the personalization is done in the background image automatically. So you can really scale this to 150 emails a day or whatever. Don't do too many because it gets, uh, you know, you can really um, mess yourself up and get blocks and all that kind of stuff. But this is a great way to not spend loads of time or pay someone to do this personalization for you. And it's really hard to pay someone to personalize. I've been trying to find someone who can do that which is affordable enough at the same time. It's really hard. Um, but what I said was, hey, name, we were just checking out your website on our weekly Zoom meeting. We made you a quick video. Click below to check it out. So they click on it and they get to a new dynamic. They get to a, a dynamic web page, which is hosted on Lemlist. And it has a video embedded in there with some copy and a calendar literally embedded below the video. And in the video, I basically say, hey, thanks so much for clicking. Um, we were checking out your website and we think, what I do is really good for you. I do LinkedIn advertising and you're a B2B company. And I believe you have quite good lifetime value. I think LinkedIn ads could be really valuable for you. If LinkedIn ads is something you've ever considered, click on the calendar below. And the video is generic for everyone, but it feels personalized. The only personalization is this background here. Um, but because, the, because you have this video that they've engaged with now, it looks like you've personalized, you've literally taken a screenshot and they've got to the video and you literally have on the dynamic page that Lemnist hosts, you have their name and their logo there, plus the calendar embedded below the video. So it's so easy and quick. It's like a Calendly or a OneTub, whatever it is. Um, and you can click literally, they just watch the video and they're like, yeah, I'm kind of interested in LinkedIn advertising or I want Phil to do you know, B2B demand generation for me. I want to speak to him about this. Maybe he can help me. And they can just book him straight away there and it's so easy. So this concept really works really well on Lemlist. And um, so these are the two features that I would recommend if you want to use Lemlist. If you're just doing cold email, go to ConvertKit or woodpecker.co, link below. And I'll also watch the video of how to do cold email really, really well. And you don't always, I would say like doing this kind of uh, advanced stuff and dynamic pages it's not always necessary and it doesn't always get you better results i've experimented a lot with this with for me and my clients but it's really interesting and sometimes it does save a lot of time because the other way you really need to your outbound needs to be personalized um so yeah i would definitely definitely check out lemlist if you're looking for these features and if not check out some other platform